department at the King John School. I'm Mr Spencer, I'm a history teacher at the King John School and I'm also ahead of year. This is a suffragette. Suffragettes campaigned in the late 19th century and early 20th century for women to gain the vote, but also for women to gain equality. You will study uh, the suffragette movement and uh, the campaign for women to get the vote during year eight. At King John School, history students study different topics on a home and international scale, learning how different events shaped the world. In year seven, students will study a chronological overview of British history, focusing on change. This will start in 1066 with the Norman conquest of England, and it will end the school year with the significance of the home front. In year seven, students will tackle inquiry questions such as, how far did the Normans completely change the lives of British people? How far did the Black Death change England? And were the Tudor monarchs responsible for the relig religious turmoil in England? In year eight of the King John School, students will study key themes such as conflict and persecution of the wider world, including the transatlantic slave trade, the suffragette movement, the two world wars, the Holocaust and civil rights in the United States in the 20th century. In year eight, students will be undertaking inquiry questions, including why was World War I known as the war to end all wars? Can history give a voice to slaves? To what extent did the Nazis plan the Holocaust at the start of their regime? And what made non-violent protest effective during the civil rights movement? Throughout history lessons at the King John School, students will continue to develop the key history skills. These include understanding the key words. So key words are used at the start of each lesson. Key words are put into homework vocabularies that students, uh, that students learn and learning the definition of those key words. Also then using those key words appropriately in sentences. Some homeworks would be to, or tests would be to put a key word into a sentence. Putting events, uh, key events into chronological order, learning and understanding and identifying the, the narrative of, of an event. We also start to consider second order concepts. A second order concept is uh, a cause of an event, uh, a consequence of an event, a significance of an event. And we also start looking at year seven of historical interpretations of, of events and why those historical interpretations can be different. Other key skills include using the information that you've, that you've, you've gathered to answer historical inquiry, so selecting the right information, uh, what can be learned and what can be inferred from sources and looking at the difference of what you can learn from a source and also then what you can infer from your own understanding, your own knowledge of that, of that particular topic. From year seven, we also look at uh, the, the, the high level of reaching a judgment. What does the student think and why? History at the King John School encourages students to think more deeply, to analyze events, to prioritize information, and to question the world around us. We aim to build students' history skills as well as their confidence in forming, debating and discussing their views and interpretations of the past, as well as being able to base their argument on evidence. At GCSE, we follow the Edexcel exam board and students uh, study four topics over three exam papers. So the first exam paper uh, would be on crime and punishment from 1000 to the present time. That is looking at crime, punishment and law enforcement and then studying the factors that changed crime, changed law and order and changed uh, punishments over time. Paper two is made up of two topics. The American West, we'll look at how the, the American West was opened up in uh, the 19th century and then we'll look at Elizabethan England from 1558 to 1588 and look at, at religion uh, society and, and, and sort of political changes during that time. And lastly, students will look at, uh, will study Germany. So we'll look at Weimar Germany and Nazi Germany from 1918 
until 1940. And we want students to develop their history skills during the time that they are, they are at the King John School. One of my colleagues has, has written something for A-level history, which I think is a good kind of summary of, of, of what we feel as a department about, about the subjects of history and where we think it can, it can take and develop uh, young people. So I'll, I'll read this out. An aim of A-level history is to get students to recognise that history is an ongoing and relevant study. We want students to be able to see the relevancy of their studies in the changing political and social climate and to become better informed and proactive citizens. I hope you've enjoyed the brief introduction to history at King John School. Uh, from me and my suffragette friend, we'd like to say thank you for listening and watching. Hopefully, uh, We'll see you on days over the next over the next sort of twelve months, uh, and then in September, twenty twenty one, it will be lovely to see you and welcome you to the King John School. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello, welcome to the geography department. I'm Mrs. Edwards. So we're in our own separate area of the school in a separate block called GG Block, and it's a really lovely environment to come and learn and do your geography lessons and we also do try to use some of the school grounds as well at times to do some of our investigation work. And when you're studying geography with us it really could take you anywhere so we will go to places like looking at areas of the world like Africa, Antarctica, we'll look at India and China and Russia and those are some specific places you'll definitely look at but lots of other places too and we'll look at the natural world as well and we'll look at topics like rivers and how they form features and coasts and how glaciers shape the land. We'll look at wild weather, um, we'll look at ecosystems as well, um, and you'll definitely do some map skills. And we'll look at really important topics um, currently, like climate change. And if you studied geography all the way up to do A-level with us, um, you'd even do a topic called the geography of disease, which is obviously really topical at the moment. So all the pupils, all of you will study at Key Stage 3 Geography, um, many, many people of the students choose to carry on to Key Stage 4, their GCSE as well. So we've got lots of geography teachers here um, and all of us want to welcome you and all of us are here to help you. So if you ever have a question about your geography and you can't find your teacher, ask any of them because they'll all help you with what you need. Um, the skills that you'll learn in geography are very, very varied. Uh, you could be writing, you could be doing a bit of maths or map work, um, also doing an investigation and reporting back, and um, we'll evaluate situations in the real world and assess, you know, was that handled right? Did we do the right thing? Are we doing the right thing now with this pandemic, for example? And geography is brilliant to go out and about, and you'll definitely have to do some field work because um, it's part of geography. Um, so you'll go out and take some data and see what's happening in the real world. Um, but we also do some really exciting optional trips. So in the last few years we've been to places like Italy and some of the students that came, we climbed up a live volcano, Mount Vesuvius. We also took a boat trip and went round the island of Capri and we looked at coastal features there, going right through a coastal arch, which was really exciting. We've also been to Iceland as well and we've seen glaciers there and volcanoes. We even stood between um, two tectonic plates at the boundary where those are splitting. So some really exciting opportunities with us and we're really really looking forward to welcoming you to our department um, and inspiring you to be fantastic geographers because we need you to be that. We need our young generation to be excellent geographers because the problems that we're experiencing in the world today they don't get solved without good geography. Thank you, we look forward to seeing you really soon. Welcome to the language faculty in the King John School. Um, I'm just going to give you a quick tour while it's quiet and there's no one around so you can have what it looks like. So everyone at the King John School when they start in year seven do either French or Spanish. Half the tutor groups do French and half do Spanish. 
Um, you have four hours a fortnight and you learn to be able to speak and read and listen to different um, people speaking French and Spanish with the idea that when you go there, or if you ever work there, or if you go on holiday, that you can then communicate, um, order food, chat to people, maybe have a pen pal, eventually then being able to work in France or Spain. Um, this is an example of one of the crazy rooms. Everything's looking a bit odd at the moment because we've got tables and chairs all over the place. But you do get an idea of what it's like. Um, we have lots of different events that are organised. Um, competitions, student of the month. So here are some from the board from um, previously who've done particularly well in their French or their Spanish learning. Um, and we have trips every year. Two trips to Spain and two trips to France. Um, so on those trips we've been to Barcelona, for example, um, and also, let's have a look down here, to swap it around, to Madrid, um, where we meet up with a Spanish school. We've had um, Key Stage 4 trips to Paris and Disneyland, and over here, a joint history and French trip, which you can go on in year 7 or 8, to Saint-Omer um, in France, um, where we go to the battlefields and try pancakes and make croissant and all sorts of interesting things. So this is the MFL faculty where you'll learn to speak French or Spanish, where you'll have lots of fun with your learning, where you will learn about the culture, you'll learn about food and fashion and music, and all those things that you're interested in English will help you love them in French and Spanish too. We look forward to you coming to our school. Adios. Au revoir.